Hi. Now in this tutorial what I want to do is show you what we mean by d2y but dx squared and also f double dash of x. Now if you've got y equals some function of x then d2y but dx squared means that we have to differentiate with respect to x dy by dx and it's often written like this. Okay. And if you've got some function of x, say 3x squared minus 5 or whatever, f double dash of x means that we differentiate with respect to x f dash x, the first differential of f of x. And I'll run through these examples and I'll give you another example to do at the end. Okay, so for this one here, if we've got y equals 4x cubed minus 5x squared plus 6, first of all, in order to get d2y by dx squared, we need to differentiate this with respect to x. So therefore, dy by dx would equal, and in the usual way, if you differentiate 4x cubed, you get 4 times 3, which is 12, then reduce the power by 1. So that's going to be 12x squared. Similarly, for this term, it's going to be minus 10x. And then for the constant, well, that's going to differentiate to 0. So d2y by dx squared means that we need to differentiate this with respect to x. So we can just say, therefore, d2y by dx squared equals. And if we differentiate this first term, 12 times 2 is 24. Drop the power by 1, you get 24x. Differentiate minus 10x respect to x, and you just simply get minus 10. And so there you go. There's d2y dx squared. And when it comes to f of x notation, first of all, we need to differentiate this, and we have f dash of x. Okay, If we differentiate this with respect to x, we get f dash of x, which is going to be 6x just the 6x because the constant will differentiate to 0. And so therefore f double dash of x would be to differentiate this with respect to x and we just get 6. Okay, well here's an example for you to try. I've got here that if y equals 3x cubed minus 2x plus 1 and we're told that d2y over dx squared equals 4, find x. Okay, well, if you've paused the video and had a go, okay, let's see how you got on. Well, first of all, we need to differentiate this. So, we've therefore got dy by dx. And this will differentiate to 9x squared minus 2. So, 9x squared minus 2. Next, we need to get the second differential, d2y by dx squared. And... If we do that, we get 18x. Just the 18x because the minus 2 differentiates to 0. So we know that this equals 4. So therefore, we have 18x equals 4. And if we divide both sides by 18, x equals 4 eighteenths. And you can divide top and bottom by 2 to finally give you x equals 2 over 9. And there's your answer. OK? So I hope that's given you some idea then what we mean by d2y over dx squared and f double dash of x. Just for the record though, if you happen to get d cubed y over dx cubed, it means that you have to differentiate d2y over dx squared again with respect to x. And f treble dash x would mean to differentiate f double dash of x with respect to x, and so on. Okay?